talk to us a little bit about uh, what dog fence or geofencing is. How does it work? Well, I suspect some of the drone manufacturers are cringing at our uh, use of dog fence. <laughs> it is a good analogy. Essentially, uh, you know, these drones now have a lot of computing power, and if they're connected to GPS, they know uh, very precisely where they are. And so the drone manufacturers have set up no-fly zones all around the country, you know, chiefly around airports, and that, uh, but also, say, the White House, security sites like that. And the GPS knows uh, where it is, and so it, it automatically keeps them outside of those areas. Uh, Alan, what are the, cha the challenges, then, with geofencing? Well, I mean, if everybody uses it, it's great. But the problem is we have probably hundreds of thousands, perhaps as many as a million drones already out there, just in the U.S. Uh, some of those people won't update their software or they're incompatible with this system, so it won't work for right. them. Um, you know, if, the, if they're going to mandate it, that would take uh, writing new regulations. That could take uh, two, three years. Um, and uh, going down the road, we also know that these things are potentially vulnerable to hacking and uh, other sorts of patches that uh, allow people to fly in areas where they're not allowed to. So it's not a perfect solution at all.